Nice coffee. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Darrell here from Sungrand, the developer of the Silver Falls games. So with the topic of the video, why I'm rebelling against the algorithm. And it's been at the back of my mind for a while now. Uh, but basically, uh, I'm uh, just going to be actively working against the algorithm now, whether that's on Twitter or YouTube. What has been disappointing to me over the past year or so is that I knew that I was bending to the will of the algorithm in order to reach more people, to get more attention, to appeal to the algorithm so that uh, whatever post, whatever video I was creating would reach more people. Um, and as I was doing that, I knew that I was doing it. I wasn't happy about it. Um, and it is upsetting that instead of uh, being true to myself, what I want to create, the message that I want to send out, uh, the image uh, and the attitude that I want to put forward, um, I was changing that because a machine was telling me what to do. And so from this point moving forward, uh, I am going to be actively rebelling against that. And I don't care whether my live streams get four people or 40 people. I don't care. I, at one point a few months ago, was obsessing over the numbers, thinking I've got to be able to get more views. I need more people clicking on this. What kind of thumbnail? What kind of title? I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not going to be told what to do by a machine. So what I am going to do is I'm going to make exactly what I want to make. I'm going to have the attitude that I want to have. I'm going to be myself. I'm not going to have uh, clickbait thumbnails. I'm not going to try to engineer video titles to be uh, to bend to what the algorithm wants, which is often to elicit an emotional response, whether that be um, people being upset or angry about a particular thing. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be told what to do by a machine. So, that means I'll need your guys' help a little bit. I'm probably going to be tracking less when it comes to uh, my reach on the various social media things, the Twitter, the Facebooks, um, the YouTubes, um, the Instagrams. Uh, what I do want to start doing with Instagram, I don't generally use the Instagram that much, but what I will start doing on Instagram now is just more um, uh, personal stuff in terms of uh, small bits of working on the games. If there's any sort of behind the scenes stuff, any funny glitches that I create, I'll be sharing those on Instagram as I feel that platform is a little bit more more personal. So I think it'll be fun to share that kind of, of um, content on Instagram and on Twitter. I'll just keep that to the sort of the fun announcements and, and other um, marketing images. Um, so how you guys can help is just keep enjoying the content and if you have um, any friends that you think might be interested in, in any of my posts or videos I'm, it would be a massive help if you could just share that with them um, if you're in any groups or, or reddits um, or um, any forums uh, I guess share them I mean I don't, I don't really use forums these days I feel like I'm an old person talking about uh, the internet and I don't really understand it I don't know if people have have forums for for games or if they just use subreddits now so I just want to make games I want to make exactly what I want to make I don't want to compromise my vision because a machine has told me that I can make more money by doing less work if I do what the machine tells me to do I'm exhausted from watching my favorite content creators on YouTube bend further and further to the algorithm to where people are no longer themselves. They're a parody of themselves. People who start out as storytellers just doing what they love and enjoy and they're passionate about it suddenly are exaggerated Muppets and they're flying around like this and they're wibbly wobbling and then all of their thumbnails are these horrified expressions. Oh my god. Oh, ah, let's, uh, um, and it's because that's what a machine has told them to do. And that's a bummer. And I think we lose sight of the real world. The online world exists in a space of hyper-reality 
that is draining. It's exhausting and it's not what really brings us a sense of satisfaction, accomplishment, and a sense of, of peace and being part of the world. Having sp spent time away from the internet for the past few weeks, um, I have um, clamped down on my diet and I have been doing um, a significant amount of physical training. Uh, physical fitness is very important to me and when I was working on these final games for the Wii U and 3DS I knew that I would have to had to trade my physical fitness um, to just work on these games. It was grueling brutal work hours each week and I knew that my health was going to continue deteriorating so I had to keep pushing my work for as long as I could, for as hard as I could. Over the past few weeks, I have fixed my diet. I've gone to, uh, I've been doing regular intense physical training and my health is now back on track. I understand as the creator and developer of Silver Falls that people look to me as a, a form of, of someone they can trust. When you look to a game developer, you trust that that developer will continue creating something that you enjoy. If you look like a total mess, and if you come across as an exhausted, tired shadow of your former self, people will not be able to trust you. They will see you and they will consider someone who isn't up to the task, who doesn't have the strength to create something long-term that they can enjoy and that they can trust. So it is important for me to maintain a very strong uh, sense of health and I need to be able to exude that sense of strength so I can show people, you can trust me. I'm going to continue creating Silver Falls games and not just Silver Falls but other IP that I have in development as well. I need to show people and to prove to people I can handle this you can trust me, so please, enjoy my games as much as you'd like. I'll keep creating them, I'll keep improving them. So that is why it's so important for me to maintain strong health, not just physically but mentally, and to show that I understand how the internet works in terms of the algorithm and getting people to click on the content you create and there is a fine line between appeasing the algorithm and letting it control you to where you no longer have control over your own thoughts. So, I'm going to be in full control of what I create and how I present my creations. I will not be told what to do by a machine. I will not be influenced by a machine. I'm going to make exactly what I want and how I want. All right. Well, now that I've got that off my chest, I'm going to go back to work. I'm going to make some cool games for you guys. We've got Guardians and Metal Exterminators coming to Nintendo Switch soon, followed by Face Takers. So I hope you get ready, get your face taken. Take care, everyone. I'll see you around.